Here's an example of an echo reef being tested. You've got your fish pond, your normal fish pond downstream with a pump that pumps the water back up and into a secondary tank, which is actually your filtration system, which can promote growth and plant life and any other uh, fish and whatever you, you like up the top. And your echo reef actually operates as a filter as well as a as well as a barrier for to hold back anything that you don't want into, into your fish pond. Echo reefs are seriously ugly. They combine uh, twigs and branches and roots and, and any other organic matter with rocks and they're bound together by melting plastic. So they're not pretty, but they, they, they have a very, very strong uh, environmental impact because they allow plants to grow out of them. Uh, they last for this absolutely, absolutely no pollution. Uh, all their pollution was done before the plastic bags were, were, were created. So you've got, you've got this incredible combination which can be used uh, over and over and over again, as many reefs as you can, and they can be daisy chained. So in this case, we've started with a very small reef, uh, and it, it, it can be expanded as small reefs, a continuation of them, or it can be a much bigger reef using bigger timbers uh, and bigger rocks, and, and, but they do exactly the same thing. We're very proud of the Echo Reef project because it, it allows anybody, as of now, you can start using an Echo Reef as we speak. And you, you, can, you can use your common sense if, in, in, uh, and, and you'll, get it, you'll get it right. But, but if you'd like to hold fire a little bit longer, we'll, we'll demonstrate, we'll do some videos that demonstrate the making of an Echo Reef and, and how you can use it to its best advantage. So please stay tuned.